Hello and welcome back, Gilda Games, for an episode 14 of The Adventures of Alundra. We've just came back from the shrine from the desert, and we're going to be speaking to all of the villagers. We're going to be unlocking something very important, I'll explain that when we get to it, and we're going to be just getting quite a few items as well. There's a lot of items that we've unlocked. Right, we're going to start with Jess here. Uh, these terrible happenings in our village are not your fault, lad. Uh, we should be so lucky it's just you causing our problems, but forget it, don't worry. Regardless of what may happen, Alundra, I'll stand by you, son. Alright, we're just going to leave here. Alright, we're going to talk to these two twins. Uh, Burgess, hi Alundra, will you take me to the beach? I want to see the low tide. Oops, we're not going to hit him. Nestus, the ocean to the south of the village has receded. My grandpa says the tide's not been this low in ten years. Talus. Giles has said that you are a demon in disguise. If that's true, can I see you a forked tongue peasant? Right, we're gonna go into the mayor's house here and we're gonna talk to Bermont and his wife, Thea. Got Bermont here. Have you been to the beach? I haven't seen the tide this low in many, many moons. Uh, the timing of this bizarre tidal shift bodes ill for us all, I fear. Uh, Thea. Uh, Alundra, you've been helping us since you arrived here, yet some of people speak ill of you openly. It's sad. Okay, so it's gonna head out here. Oops, we're not gonna do that though. All right, we'll go down there. We'll we'll actually go up the steps, go up that bit. All right, we're gonna talk to Septimus. So we're gonna be doing a massive loop around the map. Right here, Septimus. Alendra, for a start, I don't believe in the gods. Maybe once, but not now. And I wouldn't even uh, care, even if they came down and told me themselves, you're not a devil. Right, and we're just going to go into Wendell's. It's pretty much where the twins and Rumi lives. Uh, Rumi, uh, the southern ocean has all but disappeared. Uh, you can walk a great distance into the sea uh, seabed. I've heard a few in the village will go climbing while it lasts. Wendell, uh, my grandfather once told me of a shrine of the southern shore. Uh, now that the tide is so low, perhaps you can catch a glimpse of it. Right. I talk to Mead here. Uh, Mead, Giles is a kind man, Alindra. He's just confused by what's been happening. I'm sure he'll come to his senses soon, so turn that frown upside down, alright? I'm gonna uh, go into Giles' house here. Giles and Keisha. And he's not going to be here. Keisha, I'm so sorry. My brother, I fear, has crossed the line between belief and f uh, fanaticism. Uh, I don't believe you had anything to do with the deaths of our friends. Okay, so we're going to see Giles very soon. He is still in the village. Um, right. We're actually going to get a... We're going to get an Alexa. Because Giles made us forget last episode. We're not going to... We're not going to let that uh, stop us getting this. All right. Get that. Right. I'm going to be on the next level here. Uh, Yuri. My nephews went foraging for herbs in the desert, and all I got was a lousy t shirt. Right. And in this one, I'm going to talk to Sierra. Uh, nothing would break my heart more than the betrayal of someone I loved. Uh, no real point to my saying that out loud, just saying I'd share that uh, with you. Uh, Sybil, uh, there are many misfortunes ahead for us all, Alundra. My dreams grow more grotesque and vivid. Yeah, we're probably going to visit the fortune teller as well. Uh, you can get your magic and your health back for free, you don't have to pay the 15 guilder, you don't even have to get your fortune uh, told to you. You just say no to her. We'll see that soon enough. Uh, Gustav, well if it isn't the devil himself, you're the shepherd and where the lambs being hiccup. Uh, being led to the slaughter. Alright, we'll just head upstairs here I'm going to talk to Aline. Uh, you are a god, aren't you? I can sense your black power. Who said this? I don't know. I didn't say it, and you'd know if I was lying, betrayer. Who are you going to slay next, mighty one? Mm 
All right, so we're just gonna head out here and I think we done all of those. So now we just have the bottom houses. We're gonna talk to Giles right away. Yeah, we'll do that. Giles, since your arrival, many of us have perished. A coincidence, Alendra? No, a curse. A curse brought upon us the moment you arrived. You're an angel of death, a devourer of souls. Leave this village at once. Alright, Klein. Uh, Giles said he received a message from the gods themselves. You, a devil among us, I refuse to believe it. Uh, I've seen the nobility within you, Alundra. You're not a demon. Alright, so we're gonna keep going over here. We're gonna talk to Myra. She's gonna be not very happy. Uh, Myra, devil, murderer, did you return here to steal my soul as well? Filthy demon. I pray that the gods strike you dead with a vengeance reserved for the worst of sinners. So yeah, we're just going to leave her alone. She is obviously very mad at us. We're going to talk to Bonner now. He is just going to constantly be happy. He, He's just happy no matter what happens. Uh, dude, Giles has been telling everyone that you're a most heinous demon. Uh, do you owe him money or something? I mean, he's got it in for you. Phineas. Bernard told me that uh, Bernard told me the tide is so low. Uh, you can see the entire beach. It's been ten years since that happened. I remember because Bernard kept complaining there wasn't any surf. I think we only have one more house to do. There is. We do have to talk to the hermit as well. Ooh, we have Lewis here. We haven't spoke to him. Uh, if you were truly a devil, this village would have been reduced to rubble long ago. I'm sure Giles will realize this er his error. Right, we actually go in the house because we're going to speak to Fien. So this should be the final villager in here. I'm scared, Alendra. I've decided not to sleep anymore. In fact, I've been up for two days now. Can you bring me some more coffee? Alright, so we're just going to go to the fortune teller. We're going to get that magic back. And that is going to be for free. We don't have to deal with any of the dialogue. Just say no. It's going to make her very unhappy. Alright. I'm just going to leave out here. Yeah. Right, so we're just going to ignore that. Right, we're going to go to the sanctuary now. We're going to talk to... No, we did get that right. We're going to talk to Ronan. Chancellor Ronan. And Cephas. Right, we're just gonna head up here. Ronan, how dare you de desecrate this holy ground with your blasphemous presence? Leave here at once. Right, so we're just gonna dash down here. Dash down the center of those pews. We're gonna talk to the final one. Finally, the final villager. All right, Cephas, so you're the devil, hmm? Haha. <laughs> Uh, sure you are. Why, I can sense the festering black power within you. Uh, are the villagers really that foolish? Right, so we're just going to head east. No matter what, we're just going to keep heading east until we get to the water mill. So when we get to the water mill here, just ignore the bees. They're just doing their own thing. We're just going to go down these steps. And we're just going to follow this uh, kind of river down. So pretty much just how we got to the desert, or if you were going to Levy's. And we're going to head up here. And there should be the secret bit. We're going to equip the uh, cape. We need the sand cape. And yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to go under. Right, that's where we want to head to. So I'm going to quickly show this bit. This is where we want to go, but we need a key. So I'm going to find out that this is locked. We're going to unlock that very soon. 
All right, so we're out again. Okay, so we're going to be coming up to an item very soon right there. Uh, we're going to get spat on by that worm. It's just a strength elixir, so we're just going to avoid that guy. Uh, the sword, by the way, when you charge it, it will kill those worms in one hit. So it's, pr it's really effective for killing those worms. I'm going to show you how to get to that item. It's very easy. There you go. Right. And just to show you I'm not lying, we can sort of get through that. Nope. Yeah, let's, we'll just ignore that worm. It's not bothering anyone. Right. Let's so we'll up there. Just keep following what I'm doing, and we'll get to this chest. Get this one. Get some 30 gold there. Okay, so uh, just kind of position yourself there. We're just going to jump across. Over that diagonal bit. Ooh, we're not going to do that. When Ellie just fell down. Uh, we do not want to fall down. Uh, get this item. It's quite important. It's a gilded falcon. Alright. We now have 15 gilded falcons. Okay, so we're going to head on left over here. Uh, jump up that. Jump in this cave. It's very important if it will let us in. We're not getting in the cave. Right. I'm going to have this area. So we've got a bit of a long jump to do here. It might take a few attempts. Uh, we did not do it in one go. We'll just keep doing it until we get it. There we go. Did it in two goes. Sluice key obtained. Alright, so I'm going to show that off very quickly. So it's a unique item, Sluice Key. A key from the Desert Shrine. So you, I'll let you have a look at that. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so we're just going to head out there. Also those red things, those are indestructible. Don't worry about those, and they also hurt you. They do quite a bit of damage. So just leave those alone. Okay, so before we actually use the Sluice Key, I'm going to show what we're going to be doing. So there's a body of water here. We need to drain this. Uh, these steps, that's where we need to head. We're going to avoid these guys. We're not going to let them hurt us. Uh, these are just the axe ones. They don't follow you, so don't worry. They're just going to kind of do whatever they're doing. They, they don't really care. All right, so we're just heading back to that sluice gate. Just come where I'm going. Right. Oops, I'm going to get knocked on nothing. Don't go there. Okay, so you should recognize that chest. Let's see if we can get a worm. Yeah, so we've got a worm there. Alright, so we're back here. We're going to use that key. Use the sluice key. Alright, so we're just going to head on in and we're going to read the sign. Uh, to open the sluice gate, both switches must be activated simultaneously. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, we need bombs, uh, not the cape. So use a bomb and you just sort of time it. Alright, so that's strained uh, all of that water that was up above. We're going to go investigate that right away. So it's very important that we've done that. It's very good. Okay, we're just going to dash over there. Because it's fun. Right. So just uh, we're, we're just going to basically do the same thing that we did here. We are just climbing up there. Okay, we just went the wrong way, I think. Yeah, we did. Right, don't do that. Right, just head up that bit. So yeah, you should know what you're doing here. It's it's just basically like the same what we just did before. Uh, right. Oh no, we didn't have to go there. Right, what am I doing? Yeah, no, you're completely fine. You don't have to jump over there. Yeah, we're just going to let those guys walk nothing. They're just going to hit the air. I'm going here. And we're going to get into this bit. Right. We're getting somewhere. Yeah, I am Beru. Um, my wait for your arrival has spanned more than a millennium, really, sir. I will show you the five signs which bind this world. Uh, 
uh, Behold Releaser. This is the silent sign of harmony. So with this game, it's a bit like the Simon Says kind of thing. Uh, it becomes increasingly more difficult, almost like a memory game. Um, like it becomes like so fast you cannot make a mistake. Um, at the beginning like this though, it gives you plenty of time to do any sort of like error that you do. Alright, release her. Step on the sign of harmony. First one's very easy. You don't really need to memorize it too much. But usually it does have a pattern in it, it's going to the opposite sort of areas. So if that's over there, it's probably going to go over here. Oops, down below and then it's up high. Alright, I have beheld the sign of harmony, now reveal the sign of trust. Behold, really, sir, look upon the pure sign of trust. Still very simple. Nothing, nothing too hard now. So don't worry at this point. Release her. Step on the sign of trust. Alright, so we're just going to try to do this as fast as possible. But we can't. But that's okay. Alright, I didn't actually notice the middle one. Yeah, that's what I was going after. Yeah, it caught me off guard there. Because last time it was bottom, started bottom and then it went top. Right, I have beheld the sign of trust, now reveal the sign of wisdom. Mark and remember, Elisa, this is the shining sign of wisdom. It's definitely getting a lot more challenging, but still you can make mistakes. Release her, step on the sign of wisdom. Right, so, uh, so if you remember, it makes like a bit of an arrow. It should be the opposite side here. Right, and this bit I can't remember, so we can stand in the middle. Right, so it should be the opposite there. Yeah, maybe. Nope, it's that one. So if you're on the harder ones, if I made that mistake, just stand in there. That would pretty much be it over. I have beheld the sign of wisdom. Now reveal the sign of love. Now it's getting to memory. Uh, you have to basically uh, do memory game now. Uh, look closely, really, sir. This is the eternal sign of love. You cannot mess up now. Release her, step on the sign of love. Alright. It's that one. I think we've messed up. Nope, we're fine. Uh, I can't remember which one it is. It's that one. Middle? Middle? Yes. Oh, we actually did that. Right, I have beheld the sign of love. Now you shall uh, reveal the sign of courage. Uh, behold, really, sir, look upon the stalwart sign of courage. Alright. So let's see if we can do this one. I think this is the final one, and it's also the most difficult. Alright, I think I got that. Really, sir, step on the sign of courage. So we're gonna do a bit of a dash here, hopefully, we can do it. And up, down, middle, twice. And then here I get a little bit confused. I can never remember this bit. Middle, is it? Nope. Top, bottom. Alright, one go. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, I have witnessed all the signs of the true releaser. Now I shall open the gate which we crafted for you. 
stand between the pillars to enter the portal of warped time and space releaser. Alright, so that has unlocked one of the best abilities within the game, probably one of the most uh, powerful abilities. It doesn't damage anything but it's going to let us uh, do something quite unique. We're going to be finding that out very soon. Maybe not with the first one. You, you do need two of them for it to be effective. Right, so we are heading up this bit now. We're going to head up these steps. Finally, we're going to up here. Alright, we're not going to go left, we're going to go this way. Head up these steps. In that chest, by the way, that is just a... Uh, what do you call it? A tonic? It's the green one. Uh, we don't need it. Uh, we can't do anything. I'm not going to explore up there. Just yet. Uh, it'll show you that automatically in a bit anyways. We're going to go in this shin. Uh, Nairu's lair. So we're going to get this uh, uh, kind of cool music. Uh, it's kind of new. It's very kind of bouncy. It's very happy. Uh huh. An invader? No way. I must report this to Lord Memming at once. Alright, so we can push that one. Uh, you can only push these once, so I'm going to demonstrate with this one. Uh, so if you've pushed that like that, you can't push it again at all. So... But all you do to reset those is you just walk in and out of a room and it just resets that puzzle. Right, but for this puzzle, so this one, it's on a timer. Uh, that door, it closes very fast. Right, so you just want to do that all in one go. Get in there, and you want to claim this item. It's a Gilded Falcon. Alright, we now have 16 Gilded Falcons. As well, quick little thing to note here, this uh, Gilded Falcon here, it is missable. So make sure that you claim that one or you will miss it. Alright. So we're going to head out here now. There is nothing else to do. Alright, we're going to have a quick little break here. Alright, and we're back. We're going to head out here. Miming. I have been informed of the presence of an intruder. Lock the entrance at once. Yes, sir. Leave it to us. Yes, sir. We'll stop him. Memming, Lord Nairud is in grave danger. I will have to fight irregularity or no. Okay, so uh, right here, this is what we unlocked. We're going to go in it. So you just walk through that. It's going to have that really cool animation as well and that sound. Okay, so we're in this area. Uh, we have a save book. Uh, this is like Alundra's own personal pad, really. All right, we're going to head back out. So that's kind of our new home. Uh, we've kind of moved out of Jess's, but we're still going to live there. Right. So we're going to head out here. And we're just going to head out of the desert. We don't need to be here anymore. Alright. Yeah, we're just going to not fight any of these guys. We're not going to risk our health. Yeah, we're just going to head down these things. We're going to unlock something very fast. We're going to go to 
this bit over here. So head west. And then up here. If you recognize this, this is the uh, portal for Inua. So this is going to be the Inua portal. Very good that we unlock that one. Very important. Probably one of the most important portals. We're going to head back in there. As well, if you notice that other one, um, once you've unlocked a portal, it is indefinitely unlocked, so you don't have to do that ever again. So yeah, very powerful. Makes uh, getting through the game a breeze. Okay, so we're going to head down here, and we're just going to cross this bridge. I'm going to go to Levy's, and there's a good reason we're going to go to Levy's, um, apart from a particular thing to unlock, you can probably guess. We're going to get some items. Oh no, we don't get any items. Nope, we're just visiting Levy. Because we haven't got a particular uh, thing yet. Right, so we just head down here. Right, so quite important that you come over here because there's going to be another portal. We're going to unlock that one. Alright, and um, we're going to go back to Inua. We're going to ignore that slime. And we're going to go down these steps right here. I'm going to keep heading down. Just follow this river again. You can kind of see it right there. And we're just going to head over this bit. Down those steps. And yeah, we're, we're, we're going to unlock something over this side as well. We might as well. Unlock this portal. So this is the swamp one. We're going to go back in there. Alright, and we're actually going to go into the swamp now. Uh, there's an item that we can claim. We are definitely going to get that. But first, should no, we'll get that one next. Well, we'll get that one later. We're going to get this one now. Yeah, we're going to ignore those guys. And we're going to equip the sword, because I prefer the sword. Get this item, it's a Gilded Falcon. Alright, so now we have 17 Gilded Falcons. So you need the long boots for this. You can't get that gilded falcons, uh, that gilded falcon without that, without these. It lets you jump on the water as well as the sand, and I ignore those. Uh, but you can't swim, by the way. So yeah, don't try to swim. All right, so we're just gonna head over that bit. Again, you can't get this item without the boots. It's a life vessel. We now have 17 HP. Okay, so we're just gonna head this way. I don't believe there's like anything else to claim. I think we have every item we could possibly want. Yeah, I think we do. So we're just gonna we're gonna visit a new uh, shop. We haven't uh, been in here yet. So yeah, you come to this bit, see this kind of pavement here. Uh, you can get to that chest, I'll show that one. I think I'll show that one later at some other point. It's not important, it's just a uh, magic elixir. Alright, so we're going to be in this shop. Uh, we'll recognize this guy. Uh, Merrick, hey kid, I'm amazed you survived the shipwreck. I had a feeling you'd land on your feet. Uh, what am I doing here? I invested the treasure from my years of adventure into the shop. Uh, one very near fatal shipwreck is all I needed to make me think long and hard about a career change. Well kid, aren't you going to buy something? Uh, okay, so we're going to find out very fast that we can't even buy this. Uh, everything in here. Life vessel, that's 10,000 gilda. Would you like it? I mean, I'm going to say yeah, I mean, I would absolutely love that. Uh, kid, either you're trying to be quite funny or just trying either way, I'm less than amused. Uh, you're making me nervous, kid. Uh, buy something or leave. It's impossible to buy things from this guy. Uh, you cannot have 10,000 gilder. You can only have uh, 9,999. 
there's only four digits there. So ignore him for now. Um, so yeah, before I was saying, so in there, that one is a Gilded Falcon, we can't get it. Uh, in that one, that's a Magic Elixir, we don't need it. Right, I'm gonna head this way. And actually no, it's a Magic Elixir. I'll find out at some point, but I think it's either a Magic Elixir or this, a Strength Elixir. One of the two, but it's not that important, so don't worry. Right, we're gonna head in here. We're gonna speak to the final sort of villager or hermit. They live by themselves. Uh, Nava, uh, there was Neb because uh, Vol did your power, but that's impossible. Oh, confound it! I'm talking in confusing half sentences again, aren't I? I swore I'd give that up. So he's going to make absolutely no sense, so we're just going to leave him. We're going to head back to Enoa. Actually, should we? Yeah, actually, no, we'll, we'll head straight back to Enoa. Because we can't unlock. Yeah, we'll just go back there. Right. So we're just going to head up here. And we're back in the village. up these steps. I'm just gonna ignore Lutus there. We're just making a beeline straight for that bed. And save our game. So yeah, we've done quite a lot this episode. Got a lot of good items. Unlocked a very powerful uh, ability. Right, here we go. I'm gonna save game. I'm gonna end the episode right here. Alright, we're gonna save it on, let's see, we're gonna save it on this one here, that one should be fine. Alright, been Gilda Games, thanks for watching, and goodbye.